Hi everyone. Okay, so we've got um, the to usual um, bin store haul. Today is what, July 8th, I believe? It's Tuesday, second week of July. So, um, and I only went to one bin store. I don't know, I just don't feel like going to the other one, even though it's a dollar as well. They just don't have as good stuff. And I just don't feel like having to deal with <laughs> all the crap, on, I mean, open crap that they typically have over there. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's see here. I'm going to pull it out in no particular order. I picked this up last week. So they had another one. And um, I just wanted to make sure I got one more to give away. It's the Taylor Swift pouch from the Era Tour. Um, it's really cute. So I'm going to give it to... The Swifties that I know. Uh, let's see what else here. Probably wondering, why did you get another one? Well, I got another <laughs> mouse pad. It's a gaming mouse pad, but um, I have a new monitor um, that my brother got me for my birthday. He asked me what I wanted, and I told him I needed a new monitor um, because I'm tired of just staring at the laptop, the 14 inch laptop screen. So when I'm editing, um, it's much easier. And so, um, he wanted to get me like a 32 inch and I'm like, dude, my desk is not big enough right now to handle that. And it would literally be like me sitting at the front row of a movie theater. That's just, yeah, I said 27 is fine. And so he got me one and it, I put it on my desk and I'm like, holy crap, this is huge. So, um, I had to change my desk setup and I realize now that I do need a, um, a gaming mouse pad instead of like one of the smaller mouse pads that I have, it would just be easier. It's just the way that it's set up because I have a monitor stand. So I think, I don't know. I feel like I've already purchased this before, but I might've gave it away. But, um, this is a smaller mouse pad, which will work fine because the other ones that I have are really, really big. I wanted to use, and I'm trying to see if it's here, but I don't see it. I probably put it away. I have like this ginormous Sailor Moon mouse pad <laughs> that it's much, much bigger, but um, it's not going to fit um, my desk. So this will be fine because it's a lot more narrow. And um, the only thing I don't like is that it's white. So you know it's going to get dirty easy, but I don't know if people know, but you can stick these in the washer. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's fine. I mean, I only got it for $1, you know, and I like the Japanese, um, theme to it. So I did pick that one up. Let me roll this back. I was kind of surprised that they still have this at the bin store. Um, cause game pads like this are usually gone by then. I'm going to have to put this a bag on, I mean, a rubber band on that. Okay, so what else do we get here? Oh, saw this. Okay, very kind of nondescript box. You probably would, probably would think that it's a, I don't know, like maybe baby related because it's a very, very cute box. But I was curious because I kept seeing a couple of them. So I opened it. And usually when I do open something, I end up purchasing it. <laughs> um, but they had the, what do you want to call these? Giblets, giblets. Uh, for the Crocs, and they are Pokemon. Um, and I have nieces and nephews that are obsessed with Pokemon. And I was trying to find more of these, and I didn't see them. So um, this is the only one that I found. So I'm going to look out for them next week again. So that way there's no jealousy involved. Why did you give that to so-and-so? I want that too. You know, so that way everybody gets Pokemon. So yeah, not bad for a buck because I know that the real ones, the official ones go for a crap ton of money. Crocs are expensive. Um, I got this one. This is just like the tan one that I purchased a couple months ago. This is for your um, makeup brushes, but I like the green. The other one I got is a tan. I'm going to give that to my sister. And it worked out really well when I um, used it, when I stayed over at my sister's house when they were in Grand Canyon. So um, yeah, I'm going to definitely um, make use of this when I travel because I have to, the brow, I mean, sorry, the brushes that I use for my brows, the powder is like 
dark, dark brown, and that gets everywhere. So this will be helpful. And the fact that it's, you know, that soft silicon and it's easy to wash and dry. Um, that's, you know, that's great. So what else do we get here? Um, I did find this, which I don't know how much this goes for, but it's truffle zest and, you know, anything truffle tastes amazing. So, um, it's just a, a powder to sprinkle over whatever. Ooh, it smells really good. This will be great on like fries, right? Truffle fries. Too bad they didn't have more. I would have snapped it up. So nice to get that. Um, funny because I talked about the Grand Canyon and then I saw this when I showed it to my mom because she was at the store too. She was like jealous. She's like, I didn't see that. I'm like, well, I saw a pack, but it was already opened. And this one, I wasn't sure because it only had Yellowstone National Park. And I was like, I want to make sure that it's not just that and like the same thing on repeat. So I was able to let them, um, they allowed me to, op you know, slice it open and look. And sure enough, they were all different. I guess this is like a pack of 50. So these are all national parks. Look at that. redwood oh i love that and i love the vintage look to them bryce canyon petrified forest i do have um where did we stop on our first trip to california because we drove i-40 all the way until it hits what i don't know somewhere in maybe arizona or something like that we stopped somewhere and i was able to pick up a souvenir for the petrified forest i actually still have it God, that was like in the 1980s, a like a piece of petrified wood. So look at that. Isn't that um, just gorgeous? You could like frame these. So this will go into my postcard collection. <laughs> so have that. Put this in the trash. And then I only picked up, I think, nine items this week. Yeah. So I found this. Now I was pissed off because they they had a couple of Korean beauty skincare items and unfortunately, once again, it was just the box. The product was missing, so somebody stole it. It was like a beauty of Johnson or Joseon. Um, I think it was like a moisturizer or something like that. Um, this one right here is from Holika Holika, which is another old brand. I call it old because I remember this from like 2008. I think it was 2008. Um, maybe 2017. I don't know which year, but anyways, um, I know this brand and it was really hard for me to read this, um, because of the sheen, but fortunately, um, the back, I think I was able to figure it out, but it is a lip sheen and it's unused. Why is it like that? Okay. And it's a lip sheer. I'm sorry. Bon, what? Bondu. Yeah. This is the name. I guess it's like a conditioning. Oh, there we go. That would, that's what it looks like on my, the back of my hand. This will probably work because my lips are a little bit darker, but I'm going to test it out. It's just nice to have. I don't really wear lipstick. Um, I don't know. I just can't be bothered having to remember to reapply it every time. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I don't really have a lot. I would prefer like a lip stain, you know? So, and then of course I can't pass this up. Chargers, USB-C chargers. In fact, sorry, adjusting my microphone here. Um, I had picked some white ones up last week and now I have black ones. Because you just never know when you need these damn chargers. You need it at work or whatnot. And these are also, um, there's two, as you can see, two slots. So they're a little bit bigger than the um, other ones that I have. Where are my glasses? Hold on. Here they are. My readers. Let me make sure that these are 20 watt. So this just says power adapter. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. But um, yeah, I always pick these up because I got nieces and nephews 
and now they're starting to get old enough to have their own cell phone. So they're always going to need chargers. Okay, so what else do we have here? I think it's the last item. And this is perfect because I definitely need this. I picked up some other books, but this one was exactly what I needed. It's a book on stretching. So, um, and I like the fact that it really does have um, illustrations. Hold on, I'm just trying to get to, because I need that for working out, you know? I actually had a problem last week. Um, I don't know. It was weird. I did my normal stretches before I went to the gym, got to the gym, got on the treadmill. And then, um, I felt like my hips, like, uh, my hip was popping or something or like at the pelvis, you know, where your, um, leg is. Yeah. Basically hip leg is attached to the hip kind of thing. It kept popping. Um, and then, as when I got home, it was, you know, it was just a little sore, but then holy crap in the middle of the night, I woke up because that whole side on my right side was just like hurting, you know? And, um, I had to reposition myself throughout the night. So I didn't really get a good night's sleep. And that was, um, July 3rd. That was, yeah, the day before the night before 4th of July. So the next day, 4th of July, we went over to my brother's house to celebrate and he's got a pool, you know, and, I slowly ease myself in the pool and somehow, I don't know, being in the pool for like six hours, um, fixed it, <laughs> fixed the problem. Because when I got out of the pool, I noticed my hip was not hurting anymore and it wasn't clicking. I even had his friend, Chris, who is a personal trainer, show me some stretches, you know, especially for the hip. Cause I, like I said, I don't ever have a problem with my hip. And so, um, I had him show me the stretches. So I did that when I got home and I haven't had the problem since, but I'm just trying to be more cognizant um of it so this actually was great for me to find for a dollar because like i said it's showing you the specific stretches for you know whatever you've got going on like this one right here shoulder blade pinch and gluteus tightener lower back flattener you know um right here shoulder blade pinch uh, this one right here is so great i do this one right because this is good for like sciatica to stretch. Um, yeah, especially that one right there. So um, yeah, these are really good. I mean, I learned some of the stretches when I was in massage therapy school, because when we did our clinics, you know, getting our hours and stuff, we actually um, were, we did a triathlon um, over at the base, the Navy base nearby. And um, we were offering free massages for the athletes. And, um, you know, there would be like two of us, um, to a person. And we were mostly primarily working on like legs. And I remember one time we had a guy that was on the table and, oh my gosh, his, um, he started spazzing, like his, his, um, his leg started spazzing. So it was just too tight. And, you know, we had to like flip him over and, um, massage to try to loosen it up and stuff. So we kind of learned some of the, um, you know, um, the techniques to like loosen up the muscles, especially when you get a Charlie horse. Um, that was really the biggest one that a lot of them were getting, you know, having, um, mostly because when they would come to us, they had just got done running, you know? And so, um, yeah. So I know what to do if I have a Charlie horse in the middle of the night is to massage the opposite side of the leg. So obviously Charlie horse is your calf. So you just start massaging um, the muscles along the front bone of your leg and that will help um, loosen up. But as you're massaging, you're also stretching out your leg as well and pulling your toes up. So um, yeah. So like I said, so this is actually perfect for me. And um, I'm so glad I found this book. Because the, I have a, um, I have like these flashcards that have like definite, you know, like various stretches, but not like this. This one is really good, and it also shows for like when you're at work the type of stretches that you can do. Although I would never do that, um, but still, look at that for gardening, for sitting for um, a long time, blue collar stretches. I mean, this is 
just great. Even for kids, airplane stretches. Oh, really? I'm going to need this. And for the, um, yeah, because, you know, like when we're flying to the Philippines, that's like a freaking ass, um, well, from Memphis, that's like a 20 hour flight, including your layovers and stuff. So I try to do some of these stretches while I'm on the plane. There you go. Office fitness. So yeah, this was a great steal for $1. So that, that's all the items that I picked up. At this point right now, I'm just going to limit myself to like $10 each time I go to the bin store. Um, and I think I will just stick with one bin store um, until I start working again. And then, you know, it's like whatever I want to get <laughs> kind of thing. But yeah, this is all I picked up. And I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. And I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.